What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Rapa. In the last episode, we started off Chapter 3. We had a really mysterious midnight event with Asahina and kind of like a ghost-ish of Fudisaki. And we also explored the third floor. We found an art room and a physics room. We were trolled by Monokuma about a time machine. And Fukuwa's, you know, she's given up on the old Fukuwa. She's just genocide her show all the way now. Um, Asahina's acting really weird. Fukuwa is going after Asahina's knockers. And Monokuma has a picture of Owada, Fujisaki, and Kuwada-san, like, all together, happily in a different, like, cheery school. I don't know, maybe there's, like, a part of Hope's Academy and, like, Despair's Academy. There's some sort of duality to it. I'm really confused. But regardless, we're trying to figure out what everyone else found out from their exploration. So let's start off by talking to Asahina. Uh, I wasn't able to help out much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. It happened to be donut related discovery, did it? What does that even mean? Oh, that face. That face is so great. Oh, I totally forgot. I have not shown you guys the tweets that have been sent to me with this face. Um, so shout out to Ben Plomernal and one other person from my UCL league. I think his name is Sam. Such a great meme face. What does that even mean? Never mind. It's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Oh, is it anymore though? Ooh, interesting. If I need protein in there or even vitamin supplements would be fine. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. Aw, well that's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. Yikes. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Let's see what Ogami has to say. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd given us a rest already for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. Let's forget about it. Celeste is like too willing to like be like, oh, if you don't want to kill someone, just like accept it. We just gotta accept it. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. But there is a fourth floor now that we know. Um, there's an art room on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. Now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Ooh, and they are. Oops, if I can't watch all the anime, then I'll make all the anime. It reminds me of that thing I found. Hmm? Um, I accidentally hit the right click button again by accident. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Hmm, a digital camera? That's what it seems like. Still working? Well, let's take a look. Something like a kid's toy. Looks like you can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a time or anything. On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Rude, she's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pidge Pretty Pudgy Princess. <laughs> oh, you recognize this Yamada song? Of course I recognize it. I'm a super rare pro It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. This is so great. This is such an otaku. Do you have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Wait, that's my camera! What? W where did you find it? In the physics lab? It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. How, mm, how did it get up there? Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not in condition. I don't need it anymore. Ooh, I feel that. I feel that, though. Then may I have it? Might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take pictures or whatever. Nope, no comments on Asahina, Fukuo? I thought if anyone, you'd be wanting to uh, take pictures of Asahina. The long road to maidenhood begins with a single step. That road may begin with old, wrinkly, old, only wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young, adorable boys. What are you talking about, Fukuo? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, Kitty Giddy, I trust you for your insights. There's a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. It's apparently an air purifier. Huh? What's something like that doing there? Is it really that big? I feel like there's a lot more to it. Interesting. Hagakura, you're usually not the one who like actually finds anything. I saw Togumi a little while ago. Oh! <laughs> Just got a thing for him. Oh my goodness. They're kind of scaring me. I feel that, Hagakure. He's in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. 
<laughs> so that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Oh my goodness. She just ran off. Is she okay? Definitely not. She's not concerned ourselves with her. True that. Just like always have a buddy with you nearby. Hmm. Poor Ishimaru. Is that everyone? Is anyone else in the room? No, I don't think so. Leaving isn't going to do any good. Did, I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone. Did I talk to Sakura? Yeah, I did. I talked to Yamada. Talked to Asahina again, maybe? I don't know. You can get into the nurse's office, but there are no purposes. Too bad. What about in the kitchen? No point in going in the kitchen right now. Oh. Okay. I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone, but, uh... Yeah, I want to go to the boys' locker room. I guess that's not allowed, though? Maybe Yamada has another, um, like, react thing or whatever that I need to do? It was an art room on the floor with everything they had in there. Pretty create all the anime characters I want. If I can't watch all the anime, then I'll make all the anime. I will hold on to the digital camera. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Oh, I don't think I ever talked to Celeste, even though, like, she comes down on people's... Come on. Let me... Let me talk to her. Yeah, there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. Hmm, will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Alright, I've heard what everyone has to say, so now it's my turn. Hey, um, can, I, can I tell you guys something? I've found something that's kind of been bothering me. And, uh, the picture maybe? What is it? Kitty Kitty's like, wait, something you found that I didn't? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. Weird picture you mean like dirty? <laughs> no, Asahina, please, you're not gonna get away with that here. No, not that kind of weird it was. A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Those three. But and the three of them were laughing. Showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? Yeah, I know, that's the real question, because like these people probably didn't know each other outside of uh, this school. And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Okay. Then the picture wasn't taken here? But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to school. Exactly, you probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. Eh, I don't know about that. I saw it, I'm telling you, I swear. But if it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here, but they're all still alive, they left the school and then took that picture. It's impossible after all. I mean, we saw... We saw Kawada and Fujisaki and Owada all dead, so... They're not the only ones. Oh, Hinoshima. And then, of course, Sayaka, Maizono. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. Murakuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. I honestly think that's the case. He's right, but more importantly, on another topic, there is something that's been bothering me I would like to discuss. And that is, Celeste? What, what's on your mind, please? Please do, Tella. There's also something that's been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. It's about Asahina. Yeah? You said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Ooh, calling her out. It varies from person to person, but whatever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell. And I guess Celeste would be better at figuring that out than anyone else. Whatever Asina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. What? Okay, it's obviously a Pinocchio reference, but... What? For real? Actually, no. Hmm? But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. <laughs> That's not fair. If you're gonna lie, at least try to lie convincingly. That's so funny. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yeah... Feeling guilty about something? I mean, no one died. It's not it at all. Just, I mean, I, I have a reason for it. What's up, Asa? You know, what is that reason? To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. And this truth is... I saw it. A ghost. What? You mean like that ghost? Is there more than one ghost? But, but I mean, ghosts are... See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So can you tell us exactly what happened? 
Ogami, giving Asahina the confidence. I, I appreciate that. That's crucial to being a good friend. If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. Just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So, to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Donuts again? You ignored the rule regarding nighttime. I know, I know. I feel really bad about that. Anyway, continue. So I left my room and headed for the warehouse. Then I started hearing a strange sound. It's almost like a staticky sound. It's coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. I thought she was going to die. I totally thought she was going to die. I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, Hagakura, you would know about ghosts more so than anyone else, I think. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases, the paranormal activity was born from your weakened mental state. Good. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. It is a waste of time. There's no harm in it. I mean, we've got a, apparently a lifetime here, so might as well. You're gonna go try and see a ghost? Is that a really good idea? It might put a curse on you. You can wait here if you want, Hagakure. <laughs> Easy, Hagakure. What are you gonna do, Celeste? Because I have no choice. How about you, Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? I guess so. Ishimaru's not really up to doing anything, apparently. Alright, so let's take a look at this um, locker. Right here, I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Cthulhu. <laughs> where, where did you see it? Which locker? When I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. So obviously there's one that's more open than the others, so naturally. Um, is this locker? There was something in here. A laptop. Huh, inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like do yeah. that doing here? I remember seeing this. That's right, I saw it in the library before. It was broken, though. Or dead. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Huh. How'd the laptop get in here? And it was probably displaying some sort of image or something. Power is definitely on. I bet the Fujisaki fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Hmm. Why would Fu... Fu There's no way Fujisaki would have fixed it. I don't think. He'd have to have done it before he died. He did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> Surprised you're able to dress yourself in the morning. Ooh, shots fired. Oh man, if I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. <laughs> Asahina's just under fire right now. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? It's alright, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tag. Don't compare what happened to me with one of your stupid illusions. Hey, hey, guys, let's just calm down a little bit. But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing here? Why would it end up there? If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. No. Haven't you noticed there's one big difference between this room and all the others? There's no surveillance camera. Huh. I wonder why, first of all. This is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it. And now everyone knows that this place is blind, so ugh. Murder's probably gonna happen here. What I've seen this saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. I think it would be best if we investigate this laptop in a little more detail. Agreed. Let's take a look at it. Just like Kyoko said, the display's an on, but the laptop definitely has power. Yeah. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. Move the mouse or something? I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. The display instantly began to glow a pale green. Oh, and it's got Fujisaki's face on it. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. There, the icon on the far left. Alter Ego. Hmm? Field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. Consider it something like a pen name. When she double clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is about to get real creepy. Huh? What? Oh my god, this is so. 
This makes me so sad. You're dead. Like, Fujisaki's face appeared, taking up the entire display. It's not a ghost, Hakakuri. Calm down. Not a ghost. <laughs> Kitty Giddy and I are on the same page. What? What is that? I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Huh. I was getting so embarrassed introducing myself. Is this like a programmed AI for Fujisaki? Whoa, that's really cool. An AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. I mean, Fujisaki would be able to do it. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Fujisaki uses a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine reinforcement so learning? But it's simply it's a learning method for computers. If you want to know more, just Google it, okay? But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. That's why it's called Alter Ego. Fine choice, then, I must say. You can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. If you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. The second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Fujisaki created. Huh, that's gonna be really important to the case. I just I just know it. How do you know so much about this? That is a valid question. And lack of an answer. So he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. And this is what this means, yes. Then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. But you know all of this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe. I'm on fire. What? Thought you were only into 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible. He's a guy, and also a computer program. Oh, that aspect is no problem. Huh? Which one? <laughs> Anyways, let's talk to him a little more. Yamada cracks me up. How much do you know about what's going on? Master only gave me a general idea. I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Huh. Why are you here? Are you asking what Master had planned for me? He wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. Oh, so Fujisaki created this alter ego to analyze the files, like, in secret, I guess. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. Perhaps the secret of the school. Wow. How much longer until everything's unlocked? gonna be a while, but I'm definitely gonna do it, so... Makesete. <laughs> so because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. Also means that the work remains uninterrupted, even after his death. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the Mastermind notice you. I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Wow. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. Pretty basic plan, I have to say. But then, what was the... What was the noise going on? I forgot all our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but he won't hear anything. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? Then there's obviously something in here worth guarding. Then what can we do? I'll leave the door to my room open, and there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. Yo, that's super dangerous, though. But if you leave your door open at all night, then there's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. But I'm not as weak as you may think. I won't go down without a fight, I assure you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Kitty Kitty! Yes! It was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She's such a great character. She was totally confident she'd be okay. The confidence was somewhat similar to Togomi's tone, but at the same time different. It also could be because she knows she has Monokuma's protection. Because, I, I mean... In likelihood, I think Celeste is the one working with Monokuma, but I also wouldn't be surprised if Kitty Giddy um, was the one. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure, because like, you know, how the game just kind of like sets up characters. Like, someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. You also don't know much about her history. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. Uh, would you mind if I asked a few questions? I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but is Master... Ooh. Her answer is clear, concise, and direct. Oh. Knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad for her. This pr 
program. I can't ma even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. It does not have feelings. Are you are you sure? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the master will start to suspect something. I'll come back later. Oh, Fujisaki is so, like, cheery. Oh, I miss Fujisaki. I wish I got to know Fujisaki in the free time events. The AI seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed upbeat. It was just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. It's just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, um, yeah, let's get going then. I'll be back, I promise. Alright, Yamada. Now I want to check about Fuku and Togami. I feel bad for Togami. Isn't it awesome? I end up doing something totally awesome, right? As if he'd been waiting for his cue. Asahina has gained enough experience to level up. What was this awesome thing? Oh my god, Asahina, if you if you get this if you screw this up. Did something happen? Nothing in particular. No threat, I demand an exclusive interview. Denied, denied, super denied. Excuse you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Actually though. <laughs> do it, do it. Uh, stop taking advantage of us you know, like that. Just said do it. Grow up, Monokuma. Just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. But unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. So we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. He won the match for us, and that's why we're all so pleased. Celeste! Oh my god! Improvising on the spot! So good at it! Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, she is like the, well, in this, she's the ultimate gambler. I forget, she was like the ultimate, like, deceiver or liar or something like that in the previous, in the Japanese version. Speaking of which, okay, ah! hey boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're going to take a nice long ah, bath. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? We lost fair and square. I also can see Celeste is using this opportunity to kill one of them. Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Nuts. Darn it, we totally lost another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, yikes, you'll definitely get the bath tomorrow. So, should we head back to the dining hall now? Hold on! Something strange here. Very strange. Strangers, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Oh, we're not going to be the peeping toms. Come on, Monokuma, please. Gimada's like, I'm so torn! Absolutely right. Thought you were all about the 2D. All you, you do, shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask, ask myself, should I sneak in the bathroom house, uh, bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Okay, let's go. Are you kidding me? Oh, Nike, no, don't be that guy. Nike, please. Oh, this is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. We opened the door of the dressing room, silent as death, and peeped inside. It looked like girls had already finished changing and gone to the bathhouse. So it all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The forbidden land. Oh no. Is this what's the last man about lying convincingly? Okay, son. Please refer refrain from pointless whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. Just up, just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there awaits a great dazzling passion. Oh no. I don't like this at all. Alright, well, we'll talk to them. We got these chairs too. Let's check them out. What are you doing, Mr. Nagi? There are no fantasies there. If you need to calm down, try counting prime numbers. That's actually not that boring. <laughs> Mr. Nagi, you're on point. What What are we trying to do? I, I don't get it. Am I supposed to just talk to them? Oh, that's, that's where I'm supposed to go, I guess. Place my hand on the door leading into the bathhouse. I open it gently, in by an inch by inch. Why, why are we the ones going in first? Like, this, we're gonna take the brunt of this. I maneuver my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then. Slap in the face. On the other side of the thick rising steam, I saw. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That fan service, though. 
<laughs> and like they don't give us a text box or something to pass the time like we literally only get like two or three seconds of it I mean of course Asahina and Kitty Kitty look great um, <laughs> I don't even remember what Celeste looked like Sakura is jacked of course I'm not trying to put it but I always feel refreshed after a job well done the 3D body isn't so bad in its nude state I suppose so I just can't believe it like for serious <laughs> ogre's a girl is this really okay? Well, I look too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. We heard the buzzing of busy voices. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. What a nice bath. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Normally after a long bath, I'd like to make myself a nice protein coffee. However... Sorry, no time for that. Is he gonna tell on us? He's definitely going to. That's what I figured. Huh? We are just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Seeing how happy we were, an evil monster like you would never let that last for long. <laughs> Monokuma getting wrecked. And it's so cold to me. Even after I got presents for you all. Huh? Mm -hmm. Gym time. No questions, no dilly dally, and get a move on, and everything will become clear. Well, what is it? What are you scheming this time? It's probably gonna repeat the same thing again, fretting us with a motive to get things going. Yikes. Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. It's alright, we have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, let's just endure it. So here we are in the gym. Oh, there's a Togami and a Fukuo. I think we made the gym. But when we arrived, there was someone already waiting for us. None. So we kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Wow. Huh. Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? Simple. Right foot, left foot. <laughs> so arrogant. Same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. Oh, he's back to her normal self. <laughs> She's back to her Debbie, De Debbie Downer self, huh? I heard what sounded like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. So now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that in the mix. Alright, so everyone keep making fun of me. Hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Holy crap. <laughs> I hope you win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Wow. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. Which means... Ta-da! Monokuma's back. <laughs> Looks like everyone here, so then let's get started in the next episode. I'm excited to see what these presents are. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what they are, but for those of you that don't, uh, what do you guys think they're going to be? Do you think they're like actual gifts? Maybe they're potential murder weapons or something? I'm really not sure, but I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see what the consequences of that peeping is going to be. Like... Whether it's going to be even like a testimony, but I feel like that's going to be used against us. Uh, it seems too out of place otherwise. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Danganronpa. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. Danganronpa.